from a rose, 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 rose. Tell me What's good y'all, it's NWA here, Nurse Pat. This is a vlog of me and Janny's adventures on our trip to San Diego for both of our birthdays. On our way, we stopped by Oceanside for the beach to relax and have some lunch. Here Janny's putting y'all on a little in and out recipe we love. You get a Flying Dutchman, huh. which is basically two patties, two cheeses, and you put it on top of animal fries. Straight fire. You guys gotta try it. Oh god, you're so good. We then finally got to our hotel, which is called Lake House Resort, out in San Marcos. Room's not bad, nice and cozy. Pretty sick how you could literally walk onto this lake slash marina that the resort is attached to. And each day during your stay, you also get a free one hour stand up paddle boarding or kayaking. So if y'all know me, you already know for show sure we took advantage of that. Ooh. Oh I can't be <laughs> Your combo, your one-two combo, yeah. <laughs> your B-Day combo. What is that? It's the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, oh, it's running faster. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> Man. Stop, stop. <laughs> Honestly, this was super chill, and the views were nice. We ate at this restaurant and bar called Amafi that's right at the resort. If you do visit here, just note that the bar area is at the bottom. They got drinks, appetizers, and live music. Different food, different vibes. Kid you not, this pasta is pretty up there with all the pastas I've tried. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> Look at Jenny, so excited. She loves pasta. The upper restaurant area definitely got the better views. We told them both me and Janny were celebrating our birthdays, so they gave us cute little dessert cakes. Alright, so we are having a good time so far out here in the Lake House San Marcos, and we we're at Oceanside Beach earlier. Uh, we just ate at Amalfi, which is a restaurant and bar on the resort. And what's crazy is while we were there waiting for a table, this guy comes up to me and he's like, I watch your videos. And I'm like, <laughs> whoa, no way. Like it, like this guy made my day. Yo, bro, who got you smiling like that? Honestly, shout out to you, Devin. Happy um, birthday. Happy birthday too. <laughs> what's crazy is that it's my birthday today and it was also his birthday. Same day he showed me his ID. <laughs> and I was like, yo, that's crazy. He told me, you know, he has one more year left in nursing school and he wants to do ER also. So shout out to you. Keep doing your thing. Glad I ran into you. Small world, really. Mm -hmm. um, so, it was really sweet. You know, made my day. But yeah, the restaurant was super good. He had the good views, ambiance, everything, the service. Mm -hmm. Really good pasta if you do like that. Um, shout out to Miguel Angelo. Oh yeah, our server, mm -hmm. Miguel Angelo. It's as if all he knows is fine dining and breathing mm -hmm. super good service yeah. um super sweet we were gonna do some marshmallow s'mores roasting at the fire pits outside uh but unfortunately it's too late and they turn yeah. them off um so we're just gonna have some wine and some meat charcuterie type stuff and then tomorrow we're gonna head out to san diego mm -hmm. The next morning, we utilize a free kayaking one last time before heading out. So we're about to do a like a timeshare presentation tour thing. <laughs> it was part of the deal we got. There was this random dude from Hyatt Vacations that approached us when we went to the LA County Fair. And if we do this tour, they had a bunch of different like deals, free, deals, free travel options for us. Yeah. Um, we got a free airfare and two night stay in sorry, Oahu. I have, I have the hiccups. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think I heard anything. The tour would 
you know, it, it is long. It's like a two-hour tour. But I'm used to going on these type of tours with my family. Um, they're going to be pushy about it. <laughs> but we just got to be good about saying no. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to buy no timeshare. Um, but yeah, hopefully it goes okay. So we're going on the rest of our day. We're going to San Diego later. <laughs> Alright, so just a little recap. Um, in terms of the tour, presentation tour, it actually went really well, I'd say for the most part, just because I've done timeshare presentations with my family before. And they could be incredibly pushy about things. Um, the actual um, group presentation portion, like the presenter was really good. Killed kept things it. kept things pretty entertaining for us. Mm -hmm. um, and then they showed us around, showed us the suites and all that. And then when they were finally trying to talk about things, they weren't overly pushy. Um, and honestly, like some of the some of the deals they had were a little enticing. Um, it's just not the right moment in our lives to be purchasing a timeshare. Um, you, in order to make it worth it, you definitely have to travel a lot. I'd say like at least twice a year to make it really worth it. Um, and, you know, for the most part, they're understanding about that. Uh, they, they were just a little bit pushy at the end, mm -hmm. but, you know, still managed to say no. Yes, sir. So got our gifts. So we have the free two night stay as well as airfare for Oahu. Still got that. <laughs> and. 200 bucks worth of um, a ticket sale towards like any sporting event or Live Nation. So we could do a concert or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, and a $5 Starbucks card. I will say though, for um, for someone that's never gone like me, it was my first, um, what is that? Timeshare mm -hmm. like type of presentation. Presentation. Um, it was really interesting. Like it's something that, um, we feel like could be really useful in the future um but it's really it's really good to know all the information you know obviously um and they were really good about giving us all the information i think and yeah. we're very respectful yeah also. yeah i think you know me and me and Janet came there like mm -hmm. already anticipating 100 percent no, no. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> but yeah. they actually kind of got us I'm not gonna lie yeah so so. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, so we're out here now in uh, San Diego, a different hotel. Um, just went out to eat at this place called Kyoto Sushi, which is by the hotel. Highly mm -hmm. recommend. Really good. It seems like it's family owned, mm -hmm. and the uh, the chef, the sushi chef there, is just like really attentive, really attentive towards all the guests. Like, mm -hmm. was able to make um, you know individualized special requests and everything for us. So it was great, and they have like a fifty percent off menu. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. um, all the time. Every day. <laughs> uh, right now, we're doing something called a um, club crawl, San Diego club crawl, in which you're gonna have like a few hosts um, take you around to four different bars and clubs, and then you get like a free welcoming shot, a discount drink at one of them, and you basically go to the VIP lines, so you could cut the line, and um, you just pay like a certain fee for like the, the club crawl itself. Uh, so we're gonna try that out, seems like it'll be fun. Had good reviews. We'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. uh, we were at Total Wine earlier, yes. trying to pick some uh, alcohol <laughs> of choice. And uh, we're, we're thinking of tequila night. Um, there, was this, there was this one old, older worker guy that <laughs> we just kept hearing him uh, recommend this one <laughs> tequila. He was like, it's called El Tequiliano, but you know how he was saying it was, it was kind of like a, El Tequiliano, El very, Tequiliano. <laughs> I don't want to say it. I'm going to demonetize if I say it. Oh, like, it's like El Tequiliano. <laughs> you know this El Tequiliano. Um, so I brought it. I bought it, but I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped it from the fridge and spilled most of it. We still have some. I'm going to try it mm -hmm. in a little bit. We still have like quite a few shots. Yeah. yeah. So. Like honestly, this, we're, we were going to have more than enough. Yeah. And just, 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 unfortunately, it's only going to be for today now. <laughs> I'll tell you how it is. El Tequiliano wasn't that bad. <laughs> if I were to compare it to the comparables of the price, because uh, we got it at Total Wine for like $26.99, if you compare it to like a, a Casadoras or something like that, it, it is better. Um, now you can't compare it to like a Casamigos or anything, but for the comparables, like a Casadoras or a Terramana, I think it's better. Um, so, I mean, I feel like 
balling on a budget. Just wanted to try something new. It's not bad. Next few minutes, I'm just gonna show you some footage of the rest of our night. Next day, we went to go check out Balboa Park. We ate at this place called One World Beat Cafe, which was really good Caribbean vegan soul food. Pretty cool cultural art pieces in the background. It's kind of like a mini museum. We wanted to check out Comic Con while we were out there. A ton of nostalgia from this place. Literally felt like different stages of my childhood here. Shows a bunch of history with animation, artwork, cartoons. I feel like I had a Spider-Man one of these. Let's play. Oh, Schoolhouse Rock! Oh my god, I just heard that conjunction. I know we both that? turned! <laughs> I used to have a TV like this too. Yo, where's Patrick's house though? Where's my rock? We <laughs> got kicked out. I'm taking a video. Oh. <laughs> We were pretty amazed by these cardboard creations by kids. Wow, this must have taken forever. Age 10? 10 years old. Yeah. I don't even remember what I was doing at 10. Like playing Pokemon. Like this, this is what kids should be doing. Oh, you know, getting creative instead of it, rather than just being on their phones and iPads. <laughs> I am Groot. Batman. Giggity, giggity, giggity. They got a little Pac-Man zone. I'm gonna showcase Janny working her magic real quick here. I love how fast this is.
I'm, oh! <laughs> I've never seen anyone do that. What up y'all, just recapping about last night and today. Um, the club crawl was pretty cool. Yeah. It was our first time doing that. Um, basically, you have some hosts and they take you to four different bars and clubs. Mm -hmm. um, the first two spots, well, especially the first spot is more so like a pre-game spot. Yeah, very and chill. It was very chill. We got a lot of free drinks from it too. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a welcome shot, a little bit of champagne, and we technically got two shots each at the second place. Mm -hmm. um, the second place, um, I knew that there was going to be this electric bull there. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I've never seen that in a, in a club or a bar. Um, and honestly, I was expecting a little little bit of like yeehaw vibes in there, but uh, you know, they actually played you know, good music, some, some rap, hip hop and all that. Mm -hmm. um, the third place was more of like a EDM type vibe. They had uh, more so like house music in that one. And then the third one was more of your like bigger nightclub. I mean, no, that was the fourth one. Yeah. Bigger nightclub called um, Park. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I didn't say the names of the other ones, huh? So I said American mm -hmm. Junkie. Yeah. And then the second one was um, Double yeah. Deuce or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what the second one was. I'll put it down it there. Was, it was, <laughs> something it was Deuce. Pretty fun. Something Deuce. Uh, third one was Bloom, and then the fourth mm -hmm. one was Park. Mm -hmm. And then we stayed at Park uh, for the remainder of the night. And um, who was playing was uh, apparently D DJ Bonix, who was, uh, who was Khalifa's official DJ. Yeah, so it was cool. Um, definitely to do it again. You, you get to cut the lines, basically, because you, you, you go through a VIP access line. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of us, though. There was hella heads. There was like 50 people in our club crawl. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was very worth it. Just yeah, I mean the lines. It was um, some of them were pretty long. Yeah, it'll save you time, mm -hmm. and like in terms of going out to different places, it'll save you also money too. Mm -hmm. And you know we've never been to uh, downtown like San Diego gas lamp area, so it was a cool way to to get around. Yeah. Today's kind of like a short half day. We gotta drive back mm -hmm. uh, to Jandy's place. Uh, so we went to, right now we're at the um, Balboa, Balboa Park. Park, which is which is pretty nice actually. I, I really like it here. Yeah. Um, at first it kind of gave me like Golden Gate Park vibes, but uh, it's very different actually. There's a lot of a lot of different museums, restaurants and, and all that. Uh, we ate at this Jamaican like vegan soul food place. Uh -huh. That was pretty good. Um, and and we, it was vegan. It was vegan. So Wish I had some meat, vegan. but <laughs> yeah. it was still okay. Um, good still. And I didn't even know that they had like that type of like it was like curry. Mm -hmm. And me and Jenny like different curries, you know, Thai curry, Japanese curry, Indian curry. Um, so tasting this Jamaican curry was really good. Mm -hmm. um, then we went to the Comic Con, um, which was also part of the Babylon Park, mm -hmm. and it was pretty cool just seeing all the different um, history with comics, animations, drawings, and all that. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of different, different like paid museums and free museums they could check out here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we also got these Demon Slayer figural, figural bag clips. So we'll see about which a, one we About to open them up, see who we got. Collect them all. <laughs> I really hope I don't get a sucky character. <laughs> Who do you wish you um, 
Would you? I kind of want either with? Tengen or, or, uh, what's his name? Rengoku. Oh yeah. So I kind of want Tengen or Rengoku. Tengen. You want to go first or me first? You go first. All right. Mystery uh, thing. Would I even? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is a shell. What the heck? Crap, I think we need a, we might need a knife. Or maybe my <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. Hold on. You have tea? <laughs> I'm gonna pause this. Yeah. Five hours later. Made a hole. Like. Alright. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> Let's see what I got. <laughs> oh, I got Nezuko. Nice! <laughs> Alright, let's got. see who I'll get. I don't really know who I want. I guess I just don't want... Um... You don't want the ugly ones. <laughs> Greg, what a hater this one. Oh! <laughs> <no>. oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Got this guy. It's okay. I honestly be, didn't want this he'll, one. He'll be cooler in the, you know, the future seasons. Yeah, we'll see. I heard we'll he's see. pretty badass, but we'll see. All it's okay. Right. You can have Nezuko if you want. Okay, it's okay. You could have this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. We totally forgot to film an outro, but basically we went back to Orange County afterwards and celebrated Janie's actual birthday the next day. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video of this trip. I definitely appreciate y'all that make it to the end because I know it's lengthy. Like and subscribe if you're feeling the content. Support your boy. And as always, stay safe, stay humble. I'm out.